What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace this coolant fan shroud on this 2012 Ford Escape. If you need this part or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. We're gonna open the hood, just pull on that lever right there. There's a hood release over here. Slide it to the left and grab the pop, prop rod. Put that in position there. Take a 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna take these two bolts out on top, right here. Take this bolt out and then same on this side. Use the same 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. I'm gonna raise and support the vehicle. I'm using a two post lift. If you're doing this at your house, you can use a jack and jack stance. I wanna take some of these push clips off. There's one missing right here. They're there, there. I'm just gonna use this trim tool. We sell this at 1AAuto.com. Just grab the center part of the clip, pry it out like that. And then get behind the clip, pull it out. Do that to the other ones. I'm just pulling the clips out of right here. From underneath here, I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Take these bolts out. Take that bolt out. Take these two out. I'm gonna remove this bolt as well. To make it easier, I'm gonna remove this whole piece. It's not completely necessary, but it will be a lot easier. So I'll remove this bolt as well. Then there's a push clip on the back side over here. It would be easier if you had the tire off to see this stuff, but uh, it's not impossible to do with the tire on. Just grab the trim tool, pull this clip out. Now from underneath on the front, there's some bolts right here. There's one here and one here. And we are gonna do the same on the other side. So we use the same 10 millimeter socket and I'll use an extension and a ratchet. Once that's out, I can grab this panel, slide it down. So that I can pull this inner fender well down a little more, I'm just gonna take this Phillips head screw out right here. Pull this push clip out as well. The little push tab in here, it's there. If uh, the bumper's never been removed, it's probably still there. Um, if it has been removed, it may not be there because it's not something you would put back in. So I'm just taking a straight blade screwdriver. Just want to push it up and see. Right there, pull that out. When that's out, then you can grab the bumper and just pull it out, just like that. And just release it, just like that. And then we'll do the same procedure for the other side. All right, uh, these fog lights are still connected. We wanna disconnect these. Just push down on the, on the tab, slide it out. Do the same for the other side like that. Underneath here, there's a push pin. Just use the trim tool. Pull that out. Be careful, that was the only thing left holding the bumper on. And this side should have one, but it doesn't. So now I'm gonna grab the bumper, make sure both sides are released. Slide it off. Right, I'm just gonna use a trim tool, get underneath these push retainers, pull these up. Slide this panel out of the way. To get this handle out of my way, I'm just gonna take this bolt out and use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. 
it off. Now we want to pull these little plastic shields out of the way. You can take a trim tool, just get underneath here, lift up. There's a little nub that goes into that slot right there. You can just slide this out of the way like that. Same on this side. Slide that out of the way. I'm going to use an eight millimeter socket and a ratchet and I'm going to take these two bolts off and then same on the other side, those two on that bracket. Take that bracket off. All right, I just want to pull on the radiator assembly out a little bit. Just take a trim tool and slide this, slide this lock off. <clears throat> this retainer that's holding this wire on right here. Slide that out. Just like that. And we can disconnect the connector on the coolant fan. So to disconnect this connector, you just push down on this tab. Push down on that tab and it will slide right out. I'm going to do the same on this connector down here. A little tab. So you push down right here and slide the connector out. Just like that. And then I'm going to remove this wire retainer right there. Then I'm going to take these two bolts out. There's one right here and one on the other side of the fan. I'll use an eight millimeter socket and a ratchet. This one, I'm just going to use an extension and it's a little bit harder to get to because of the upper coolant radiator hose. Pull that one off. All right, I'm just going to try to slide this forward a little bit. Grab the coolant fan. If you have to lift up on the coolant fan, there is a slot on the bottom that's connected to the radiator. There's a hose on the bottom of the radiator it's attached to the fan right here. Just grab the hose, slide it out. There we go. If you just twist it a little bit, then you can get past right there. So you just have to angle this a certain way just to get it past. <clears throat> this stud right here, just like that. It's a little bit tricky, but it does come out. There we go. Here's the old coolant fans and shroud. Here's the new radiator coolant fans and shroud from 1AAuto.com. As you can see, the shape is the same. They have the same mounting positions. Same connectors, same pin locations. Get yours at 1AAuto.com and you can do it yourself. Two coolant fans, Just slide this in position. Slide this this way. Okay, so that's in the right area over there. There we go. And then watch this lower radiator hose down here. The little one. You're gonna wanna make sure you don't crush that. So this is obviously a lot easier if you have that upper radiator hose off, but it's not impossible to get it on without taking that off. I'll take these bolts, get this one started. Then 
And before I tighten that down, I'm gonna get the other one started as well. Over here. All right, now I can snug that side up, snug up the other side. All right, now we're gonna hook the wires up. Don't forget to hook the wires up on the fans. That would be bad. And then push the wire retainer back in. And we'll do the same with this fan. So before we put the upper mounts on, make sure those feet are in position where the lower, lower radiator is on that side and the other side. Now install these brackets. Get this lined up. Put the other one on. Take these bolts. I'm gonna get them all started and then we'll tighten them up. Now I'll use a eight millimeter socket and a ratchet. Tighten these down. Just snug. I'm gonna slide this cover in position. Push these push pins in, right there and right there. Now I'm gonna put this lever on. Use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet and tighten this up. Just take these plastic shields that go right there and right here. Take the bumper, I'm just gonna slide it in position. You could use a partner to help you. Get this side lined up. Push it in. And that little tab we pulled out, we're not gonna be able to get it back in. So, but it's okay, it's gonna stay secure. And then we'll do the same for the other side. This is one of those pins. But after you take this off, you can't really get that back in. And that's secure. We're gonna install a push pins in here. Just get these lined up. One there and then also one over here. All right, we're gonna take this panel, slide this in position. It's gonna go, the back part's gonna go over the axle. And this part. I'm gonna slide up here. I'll take the bolt, I'm gonna stick it in my socket with an extension. And same with the other ones. Get this push pin pushed in on the back. These two bolts started. Once I have all those bolts started, I can go back with a ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket and extension and snug these all up. Take the fog light, we wanna connect the fog light connector. Just line it up and lock it in place. And do the same for the other side. I'm gonna put these push pins in on this side. Here, there was one missing here, so I'll put a new one in right there. Put a push pin right here. Phillips head screw right here. Just use a Phillips head screwdriver. And snug it up. There's another push pin right under here. And now I'm gonna do the same procedure for the other side. I'll take these two bolts up top. One goes here, one goes on the other side here. Get those started. You take a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet and snug them up. Thanks for watching. If you want the parts to do it yourself, check out 1aauto.com, the place for DIY auto repair.